Hello, my name is Olivia Brock. I will be the Project Financial and Compliance Advisor, and today I will be doing a presentation titled Implementing Methane Digesters on Smithfield Pork Operations. Is there more to manure? The average hog produces and accumulates 1.3 gallons of waste daily. Currently, manure is treated by placing in lagoons, releasing it into waterways, or spraying on to fields as fertilizer. Methane digesters can use this manure to produce renewable natural gas. Manure is placed in an airtight container that is heated to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in an anaerobic environment where methanogens and methane-producing bacteria break down the manure producing renewable biogas. The scope of the digester goals. The scope is a 9,000 head hog operation on Smithfield owned farms and operations where facilities will operate fully with biogas. The goals are two or more digesters at processing facilities, one or more on owned farms, have a pilot facility in Tar Hill, North Carolina by 2021, by 2025 have 20% of facilities and operations using methane digesters, and that these methane digesters will operate at at least 65% capacity. The implications are primarily cost related. Here in this Excel spreadsheet, you can see I've broken down materials and insulation and maintenance costs. Materials, the most important is a 65 kilowatt capstone microturbine with energy production being the most expensive part of methane digesters. You can also see the digester and cover, manure transfer pipes, gas and hot water pipes, boilers, hot water equipment, and heat loop systems totaling 831973 here, under insulation and maintenance, you can see the most expensive cost is site excavation at $167,090. Here, you can see engineering and insulation, troubleshooting, and annual operations, which are roughly 3% of turnkey costs, to, to a grand total of $289,590. And here, you can see the total system cost at a little over $1.1 million U.S. dollars. Lastly, we will be discussing the savings and benefits. The energy production daily, or the EPD, for a 9,000 head hog operation is a little over 33 million kilowatt hours daily, with the AEB, or the available energy after biogas, being a little over 16 million kilowatt hours daily, with the renewable natural gas at a little over 50,000 cubic feet. Now, these numbers seem big, and that is because Methane digesters have a lot of potential, however, they cannot run at full capacity and they have a short lifespan, so the values reflected are true value are not true values, and these numbers will be altered, as well as the available energy after biogas is necessary because the methane digesters have to be heated and continuously heated to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and that requires quite a bit of energy. Next, I'll be discussing the savings associated. So, Smithfield operations require 50,000 pounds of steam daily to operate turbines to produce electricity. For Smithfield, using petroleum steam costs around $9.28 per 1,000 pounds, with renewable natural gas steam costing about $6.81 per 1,000 pounds, making a monthly savings cost of $123,500. Additional benefits from this system include a reduction in methane emissions because methane Will, manure will be trapped and covered where that methane can then be captured instead of being completely released in the environment. You will increase urban farm growth as farms around the area are able to send in manure or leftover produce and food can be sent to also be used in the anaerobic digester as seen here where it says crops and food waste as well as livestock waste and wastewater can also be used. There's also potential for collaboration as facilities such as Dominion Energy and Duke Energy can help support these systems and can then use part of the renewable energy to place on the grid as well as Smithfield being able to donate energy onto the grid to be used to power operate homes. It can produce biomethane. It can also do digestate, which can be fertilizer, soil amendments that can also be sold for like $60 for a five pound bag. So there is a plethora of opportunity within these methane digesters beyond just that of economic, but also including societal and environmental benefits as well. Here is a list of my references. Thank you so much for listening.